Well, you know, you can say anything you want. Is it true that you can outgrow allergies and asthma? So the question is, what is the allergy to? What happens if you take a cold shower every day? It is a very sensible advice. It's very easy to end up in a hospital bed. Is it true that you can outgrow allergies and asthma? Yes. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I can actually give you a very specific example of how people outgrow allergies. You've heard of the antibiotic called penicillin? Yes. Penicillin allergy is quite common, and a lot of my patients come in and say that they have a penicillin allergy. But most of the time, they're referencing what happened to them in their youth. 90% of people who state that they have a penicillin allergy have either grown out of it or never had one to begin with. What? <laughs> Wait. Well, you know, you can say anything you want. As for penicillin, nowadays there are many forms of penicillins because the original penicillin, which was discovered by Dr. Fleming, has essentially lost its activity. Therefore, semi-synthetic penicillins are used now. And this allergy is not to the penicillin itself, to the structure itself, but to the components used in the synthesis of these modified penicillins, that's how it should be understood. Since chemical reactions are used in the production, for example, of penicillin, the so-called FAU and other various forms, there are many now. In order to bypass resistance, there may be chemical impurities that cause allergies. So the question is, what is the allergy to penicillin or some chemical? It's the same when people complain, I take vitamin B1, that is thiamine, and I have an allergy to vitamin B1. If I tell you that vitamin B1 is most often used synthetically in pharmacies and the synthesis process is very complex using very aggressive substances, then you understand that this is an allergy, not to the vitamin, but to the products that were used in its synthesis. That's how it should be understood. What happens if you take a cold shower every day? The heart rate is gonna go down with 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. The nutrients, vitamins and minerals and oxygen, they get better to the cells. As for the cold shower, it is a very sensible advice to take a cold shower. What does a cold shower provide? Firstly, it is a training for the blood vessels. That is, the vessels are trained, meaning they constrict, expand, constrict, expand. This contributes to improve blood circulation and therefore the supply of all organs and tissues with nutrients, as it is said nowadays, and oxygen and so on. Moreover, it significantly enhances overall immunity and resistance to colds. No draft, no low temperature will be truly frightening. In this regard, it is also very beneficial well, besides that, a cold shower and movement under a cold shower is also joint work, by the way, in different conditions. Immediately using a cold shower without engaging in this procedure is absolutely not allowed. You need to gradually lower the temperature starting from an acceptable one by a degree. There's no need to rush by a degree every three to four days or even a week. It all depends on how resilient you are, what your immunity is like, and bring it to a temperature somewhere around 15 degrees. That's cold, very cold water. But doing it instantly under no circumstances should you do it because you can end up with anything. If a person is not young, then even more caution is needed because a rapid, let's say, decrease in temperature can lead to vascular spasms, including in any area, even in the brain. Therefore, you need to be very careful in this regard as well. Otherwise, we promote it so boldly. Only in this way can a cold shower be used despite all its benefits. Especially if you're showering in such a way that your head is under cold water, you need to be gradual, unhurried, and quite cautious. So those are the recommendations. Then after a cold shower, you need to rub yourself with a terry towel until your skin starts to burn, then there will be no problems. But if you do it all quickly, thinking a cold shower is beneficial, it's very easy to end up in a hospital bed